everyone so i just arrived at hollywood studios and i'm here for the new event called jollywood nights i'm super excited i don't know what to expect i've only seen a few videos here and there i know there's a lot of atmosphere as far as characters and food and drinks and stuff like that but um i forget all the shows i'm gonna try to do at least two of them i know there's a firework display at some point which i may skip and i think there's a well maybe not a parade i'm not sure either way i'm super excited and i want to bring you guys along on this beautiful night here at hollywood studios a little quiet spot I just got in the park I got my ticket and I got this cool Jollywood Nights uh, badge so cool and I'm inside um, I don't know what I'm gonna go do first maybe go see one of the characters and I definitely got to find food I'm starving but I'm here and I'm ready to go here's my outfit <laughs> and yeah let's go check out Jollywood Nights get a map but I don't see any of the character listings on here in the times I think they don't put it on here and they just kind of expect you to walk around and try to find them but this is the map and it does have the food and the show times for the shows but as far as characters I have no idea so here we go just now in the map there is a section that tells you where the characters are gonna be so that's good because I had no idea um, there's gonna be Chippendale and the Rescue Rangers Phineas and Ferb Max from Powerline Goofy Pluto Donald Duck Daisy Mickey and Minnie I heard Mary Poppins is somewhere around here as well so the whole event starts at 8 30 and right now I think people are just lining up for several characters. Santa Claus is going to be right back here. And I'm going to go find Mary Poppins because I'm actually wearing, let me see if I can show you guys real quick. <laughs> I'm actually wearing, ah, hold on. My Mary Poppins bag. So I have to go see Mary Poppins. All right. My first snack of the night. How cute is this? And look, hold on. 
Let me back up so you can see. <laughs> <laughs> so it actually comes with ice cream, but I didn't want it with ice cream, so I just got the cookie. But <laughs> so if you look really closely, you can see that his nose, like there's a little bit of smoke coming out of his nostrils. That's so cool. And then right here where everybody's standing in line, it's going to be Phoebeus and Ferb. Look how cute. Oh, you're fine. Look how cute. <laughs> I don't even want to bite into him. He's so cute. <laughs> All right, let's give him a shot. Not bad. <laughs> He's pretty good. By me, I didn't even see him. Bye, Max. So I had to do a little voiceover because of the music on the background, but I am here tasting the spicy Korean chicken funnel cake. And as you can see by my reaction, <laughs> I really liked it. It was really good. There were so many different flavors. So I was like, oh my, wow. Because on top you have these vegetables and then you had the spicy chicken in the middle. And then on the bottom, it was the funnel cake. And it was just... It was really good. I was really impressed, as you can see. And at the end there, I kind of said, um, yeah, 10 out of 10. <laughs> Look who it is. It's Duffy. Aw, he's so cute. Should I go get in line? Yeah, get that selfie, girl. I don't know. Is that line long? <sighs> I feel like I should. He's adorable. All right, here's the sugar cookie martini. I think I'm gonna try the cookie first, see what it tastes like. Mm. Okay. Um, I hear in sync, so I better turn this off. Mm. 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 Oh my God, that's strong. That's really good though. <laughs> oh my God, look who I'm about to be. now here so I think right here they are getting in line for Santa Claus I think it is look at that Santa up there that's cool
and the penguin. I'm trying to go see a show. I think I'm gonna to have to go to the 10.30 one because it's 9.25 p.m. right now in the show, but I wanna see stars at 9.30. So I think I'm gonna to go to the 10.30 one. Um, there's a Nightmare Before Christmas show too that I kinda of wanna see. Um, I would like to meet the um, Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, but they actually come out right where I just was, where Mary Poppins is. So maybe I'll try later to see the Seven Dwarves, that'd be cool. Anyways, whew, just wanted to check in on you guys, really good. Look who it is, it's Jiminy Cricket. Oh, he's so cute. Ooh, I just spilled my water on me. Good job, Leslie. Oh my God, look. Look how cute it's Jimmy Cricket! Oh my gosh, he's so cute! How close is this? You better not jump, you better not run. You better not know what's coming, you might say. The cause is coming to town. <laughs> nice! <laughs> That was cool. <laughs> yeah. 
but this is so cool. Oh, I'm loving this. Milky's or <laughs> Milky's <laughs> Mickey's Runway Railway. This ride is so cool, but I do miss the Great Movie Ride. If you guys have never seen the Great Movie Ride, I have a video of it on the almost on the last day of it. All right, let's go. It's here, it's Christmas Ditch. So so sweet. All right, I think I'm gonna head over to the Tipton Lounge. I think it's what it's called. Um, it's over next to the Hollywood Hollywood Tower of Terror. So let's go check it out. <laughs> I can actually see people riding it. That's a no for me. There's the entrance to the Tower of Terror. <laughs> so scary. So I don't actually know her. Thank you so much. Thank you for joining us here at the Hollywood Tower. But I know her name is Rachel. Once again, my name is Rachel. See? <laughs> Um, I know her husband. I used to work with her husband, but I've never actually met her. Oh no, I just missed them. I wonder when they're going to come back. So I just missed the show, but they said they'll come back in 20 minutes. And there's the menu selection over here. I think I uh, have to go over here. This is where you get the drinks right here. I like it. It's a cute setup. Got the twilight, the twilight daiquiri, and it has glitter in it. I don't know if you guys can see it. I doubt it, but maybe not. Sure. <laughs> Not sure how I feel about it. It's not bad. It's very sweet. Look, you can see the glitter now. I can't wait to see the picture. That's so cool. <laughs> We're thrilled to be bringing you the sounds of the season here tonight at the Tip Top Club's annual Twilight Soiree. <laughs> we'll hope you grab yourself a little glass of bubbly and maybe take a festive spin on the dance floor with us because it's going to be a wild ride. And the fellas and I, we know a little bit about wild rides, don't we, boys? <laughs> but it is the season to celebrate, and I know Santa Claus is on his way. In fact, I had a little conversation with him earlier about a list he's got. He's got a list, and there's one that's naughty and one that's nice. And I can tell which one you're on, but I hope you guys have been on your best behavior so you can get all the presents this year, because you know what? Santa Claus is coming to town. Hit it, fellas. <laughs> Showed his plans to me So you're 
relatives in their home in Cleveland. And I get more boots than she does. She usually gets beer bought for her too. It's snowing! It's snowing! It's Apparently, but it's snowing! Okay guys, hi! <laughs> so, bad news, I got in line for um, Duffy and he was taking so long, I left the line and when I came back, he still wasn't there but then they closed the line for the night. I was like, ugh, anyways, that's okay because look what I got. Isn't that cute? It's a Christmas tree cookie stack. Look at this. And then I got the naughty or nice um, drink. I forgot what's in it. That is really good. All right. Anyways, I gotta get a cute picture with it and then I'll let you guys know how it is. Okay. I'm about to give this cookie a try. Oh, wow. There's something in between these cookies. What is this? Oh, it's jelly. I didn't read that part. I don't really like jelly. Mm. Okay. I didn't read that part. I didn't know that there was jelly. Yeah, I didn't know that there was jelly. So I'm kind of like, eh. Those things right there make my hair look weird. Look, it looks like I have like a crown. <laughs> yeah, I don't care for this. I think the best part is the frosting. Yeah, the frosting's good, but I don't care for the cookie. Mm, sorry. Hosting this magical musical show for all of you tonight. But sure, yes, <laughs> tis more. <laughs> the greatest gift of all this holiday season. It must be such an honor for all of you to have moi here tonight. Uh, uh, Piggy, I said the honor was ours. Huh? Oh, <laughs> right. I suppose it is an honor for you and the rest of the cast, too. Piggy, I really think that you're missing out on the best parts of the holidays. Sure, this is the season of giving. Ah, the season of giving me gifts. 
gifts. <laughs> Pretty sure that's receiving. But what I'm trying to say is that some gifts don't come in boxes and pretty paper. Well, that is a great point, Kermit. And maybe all those children out there are looking for the kind of gifts that live inside here. Yeah, like Kermit's warm heart and generosity. Or your... Your, your bold sense of self-confidence, Miss Piggy. Aww, thank you so much for noticing. Wait, who are you again? Uh, these are just a couple of friends who've come to help us put on a great show this evening. Come on, everybody. Toyland, Toyland, fill up your hearts with Toyland. We all this see. We're kind of in the middle of a production here. I don't make the rules. I'm just the talent. Wait, you are the talent? <laughs> yes, Piggy. This is... Brandy. And... Bobby. And there are our fellow co-hosts for this evening. Our fellow what? How many hosts does this show need? How big is your trailer? You're still coming with a jacuzzi to them because I explicitly asked for one and I did not get one. We'll be back, folks. Uh, probably. Okay, come on, Piggy. We better start digging our way out of here. You two have moved around a lot. So we spent Christmas in different places all over the country. Every year it was somewhere new. New York, Chicago, New Orleans. Hey. My grandma grew up in New Orleans, yet she used to tell all sorts of amazing stories about the Christmases down there. The, the bonfires, the smell of Creole food wafting out of every restaurant. She said on Christmas Eve, the best ravioli dinner in all of New Orleans was at Tiana's, Tiana's Palace. Palace. Oh, she's so right. That place has the best beignets, and it's such a party at Christmas time. Oh, I can only imagine. <laughs> Oh, it's snowing! 
the snow just makes you want to run outside and look for a Christmas tree. Say, I know, I'll go out right now and get the best tree I can find and take it over to surprise me. I know she doesn't have one yet and, well, she loves to decorate for Christmas. <laughs> I can't wait to see the look on her face. Oh, this weather took all kinds of lights and ornaments and, and sit by the fire with some pipe and hot cocoa. <laughs> So I'm at my parents' house and I'm back from Jolly Nights and I wanted to give you guys my honest review on tonight and just tell you a little bit about how my night went. So it was awesome. I really loved it. I, I, I really think that this event has a lot of potential if they continue on, but they definitely need to improve on a few things. 
the biggest thing for me was the character greetings and the miscommunication between the employees like sometimes they didn't know where a character was so one one employee would tell me one thing and another employee would tell me another and I was just running back and forth trying to figure it out and what lines I wanted to make so that was one thing that I think needs improvement for next year because um, even though there was a map and on the map there was some character greetings on there not all of them were on there so let me rewind as you walk in of course you get your wristband which all of these events have that way they know that you paid and one thing that was cool that I've never seen before was this lanyard that was given to us very nice I've never seen a lanyard before and then it says Jolly Knights on there so that was nice and then yes I went and picked up my map which I had a hard time reading I wish that I would have open it just like this and stop to look and see that character gradings were right here. Not all of them, Mary Poppins was not on here. Duffy was not on here. And I don't know who else was not on here. Oh, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs were not on there. But, um, but yeah, it was a little overwhelming trying to read this thing. I mean, look at this thing. It's a lot. I mean, I'm glad that it's on here, but it was like, you know, you want to do so much and you want to meet the characters and you want to see the shows. But I, I feel like with these events, you kind of have to pick and choose what you want to do. Otherwise, you'll miss a lot. You know, there's people that figure it out and they get to do almost everything in one night. And if I go again next year, if they do have this event next year, I'm going to definitely make a plan. I feel like the show that I saw, which was the last show of the night, it was 11.45. I wish I would have seen that in the beginning of the night at the very first show, which was 8.45. I wish I would have seen that one instead. That way the rest of the night I would have felt more at ease because the whole time I would go somewhere and then I felt like I had to rush back just in case I wanted to see that show or the next one and and you know I didn't want the line to get too long and I would miss it so it was a lot <clears throat> it was a lot I kind of lost my voice sorry so yeah having a plan definitely is a good idea because that way you don't feel like I felt all night but other than that I had a blast I felt so much joy the entire night I danced, I laughed, um, and I got to try all the foods that I wanted except for one and the drinks because for Mickey's Not So Scary, I didn't try anything and I was and I felt so disappointed. So I got to try everything that I wanted except for one, yeah, I know. So that was nice. I also am very glad that I made it over to the tip where is it the tip top club which is like the club that was um by the hollywood tower of terror and i really wanted to go because uh, an old friend i used to work with his wife she performs and he's always posting videos of her singing and i knew that she was going to be the lead singer at the tip top club so i wanted to see her perform and say hello to her because I've never met her so it was nice to meet her and see her perform so I'm glad I made it over there 